Hey folks, so what's in my camera bag when I do my point of view photography? Watch on to find out. Hey folks, so a little bit of a different video. Um, I'm hoping to go out to do a, a pop shoot uh, tomorrow, uh, weather permitting, it's been a bit inclement today. So I thought I'd show you uh, what I uh, carry and how to be as minimalist as possible if you want to do some street photography or point of view uh, shooting if you fancy having a uh, go yourself. So I've, I've got this, I've set up a two camera setup so hopefully now you can see uh, from a top down view, you can see my hands here, um, what I would normally carry. So I've got a, um, a little Ben's Photo uh, bag um, that I bought uh, a few weeks ago from Amazon. I think it was £17, so they're incredibly cheap. But hard to get. It's um, it's water repellent, so it's, it's it'll give you a little bit of protection uh, for your equipment in the event of a shower. Um, and the idea was for me to be uh, as minimalist as possible. So I'm gonna pack the bag so you can see uh, how I fit all this uh, stuff actually in. Uh, now I do take a few extra things, which I'm going to show you now. So and I'm going to hold those up to the camera. So there's a couple of things I will. I'll take the Ben's photo bag, and I'll also take another small bag, which I'll carry some of the bits and bobs, uh, which I'll tend to leave in the boot of the car. So they're just things I might use in the car before I go out. Um, and the couple of things I uh, I bring are a little um, Manfrotto uh, tripod. Um, so I'll bring that uh, so I can do little pieces to camera in the car and uh, my Giotto uh, rocket cleaner which is a <laughs> blasts air so I can use that to clean uh, the lenses and filters or anything I take with me because dust is a, a constant problem for cameras so they're the extra things I bring. I also bring uh, a little bottle of um, cleaning uh, fluid in case the uh, lens has a particularly stubborn uh, piece of uh, muck or dust on it. But the rest of what you can see is um, what we're going to carry in the, uh, the camera bag. So it's going to be tricky for me to do this um, because I kind of can't see in the bag. I'm trying to reach over into the bag so you guys can kind of see what's, uh, what's going on. Um, but obviously first of all uh, the camera I usually take is the uh, the X100V. Now I do sometimes take my X-T4, which I'm filming on here. I'm looking at the camera now. And I sometimes take my uh, XS10, which is filming the top-down view that you can see here. So I can't obviously show you those cameras because they're both filming at the minute. Um, so, But the XS10 and even the X-T4 will fit in this small bag just. Uh, but the X-V100, X100V, sorry, is a much better fit. Um, so I take uh, a Peak Design uh, strap uh, which clips onto that. I can often leave that on so the camera's easy to pull out and I've got one half you can see the camera just pops in there. Now I tend to leave the strap out to one side before I pack everything else in. Uh, you'll see for reasons later. Um, I have my uh, Rode Wireless Go uh, wireless microphone which comes in its own little pouch. Now I'm recording on my uh, uh, Rode Video Micro because again, to show you this, I can't record on the better mic which this is. So the audio might not be quite as good as uh, it normally is. Um, so that packs in its own little pouch there. Um, and we can pop that in the side there or along the side. Um, we've got two little uh, Wind muffs or dead kittens, as they're sometimes called. What a terrible name! Um, I can pop those in, and they're obviously to reduce the wind noise, and they clip straight onto the uh, the microphones. Um, what we've also got is um, I always take a couple of batteries with me. So especially when you're using your screen, your batteries are going to drain quite quickly, especially when you've got the uh, the, uh, the Fuji. I think it's the NPW126S. Um, when you've got that battery, um, it's, it, it is good for up to eight shots using the viewfinder, but when using the touchscreen, you're going to be closer to two to three hundred shots. Um, 
it before it drains the battery quite substantially. So there's no harm in carrying a couple of extra batteries. You pop them in there. Moving on or two more extra batteries, if they're only carry cases, these are the uh, DJI Oswo Action batteries. I carry one in the action camera and two spare batteries. DJI only has about an hour of battery life, so we carry those. Of course, we need um, our SD cards. I've got plenty of those with me in case of failure. Micro SD for the action cam and a couple of 64 uh, gig cards for the actual camera. Um, and just one extra in case. So again, they're dead small, they can go in there uh, like that. Very important piece this. Uh, this is an adapter for the action cam because it doesn't have a 3.5 mini jack. So I generally store this on the action camera, um, which means that I can it can charge it if I want to through there. But more importantly, it lets me fit a 3.5 mini jack in for the microphone. And to pop the action cam in there, that brings us down to um, a lint-free cloth, which is always very important to have. Um, handy if the camera gets slightly damp, or again if you want to give it a wipe with dust, or something gets on the lens. Uh, and lastly, I've uh, moved away from the uh, chest mount that I had, which was a great big contraption, and I've moved to this clip, and this clip fastens onto the strap of the, uh, the camera like this. Um, and then we can mount the GoPro on here. Uh, and that's how you actually see what I'm doing. And essentially it all um, fits neatly inside there. There's even room on the top for me to put my glasses. Um, and I've got a pouch at the front where I might put my, my purse in there. Um, and any other small items I need if I was taking a filter or something that I could slide in there. The bag's uh, got a little, nice little zip. Uh, yes, tuck that in as well. All the time, just tuck that in the top, and that's it. And that um, is the uh, little mini bag that I carry around with me, uh, and I take uh, when I do my point of view photography shoots. Um, ideally, when you're doing street shooting, you need to be as minimal as possible, um, and you know. I think once upon a time when I stopped there, I was starting out in photography before I did street shooting. I used to want to take every lens I had with me and often you find that you don't change lenses. So think ahead, think about the lens you want for what you're doing and then challenge yourself to stick to that lens and it'll improve your street photography no end. Um, it's the same as having a, think of like a mobile phone. It's a fixed focal length. I know some of them have more advanced now, but they're generally a speaking a fixed focal length. So bear that in mind. Um, pick yourself a small bag like this one um, and keep your kit minimalist. Um, it keeps you inobtrusive as well because street photography, um, you are obviously in close proximity to people and like landscapes. So I deliberately have chosen a bag that doesn't look like a camera bag. Um, it just looks like a handbag or a shoulder bag or a messenger bag. And it keeps me discreet. And that's the beauty of street photography is that, or the trick is to stay as discreet as you can. So I hope this helps um, if you want to get out there and do some uh, street shooting. Um, it's snowing again outside, which is unusual for spring, um, but tomorrow's forecast will be a little bit better. Um, I am a bit uh, tired today because I had to go into a hospital to have some minor surgery, but I am fine. Um, so I wasn't, that's one of the reasons why I didn't go out today. Uh, but I hope you'll be back tomorrow. So in the meantime, uh, I took a few shots when I went out for a ride on my mountain bike. So stay tuned and I'll stick those on the end of the video and have a little watch. And I hope to see you very soon in the next day or two with a new uh, point of view photography walk. Um, I think we're possibly going down to uh, one of the old industrial areas in Newcastle uh, called Oosburn. Fingers crossed that happens. If not, We'll certainly be going somewhere. Anyway, thank you for watching, folks. If you uh, enjoyed this little video, please do like, subscribe, share, um, and click the bell for notifications. Catch you all later. Bye.